All right, welcome back guys. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a pattern from Lubos Rosa. Uh, it's new for us this year. It's a tactical dry fly. It's on the ultimate dry fly barbless. It's called the Red Butt Caddis. Uh, Lubos uses this pattern for single point applications when targeting uh, rising fish. And it's a really good skating uh, pattern as well, as you'll see here in a minute. Uh, all right, let's get started. So attach our thread right behind the eye and take it all the way back yeah, just behind the point draw off your waist and we're going to be using red crystal flash for the red butt tie that in Take that down just around the bend a little bit. Make a nice base to wrap it on. Let's trim off these butts here. All right. this forward about mm, four wraps and take your thread catch it in trim off the rest Let's clean that up a bit here I'm gonna protect this a little bit with uh, some UV resin very thin UV resin. What this actually does is make amplifies the red just a little bit, acts as a magnifier in a way. Make sure that's good and cured. A couple seconds will do it. Now we're ready to tie in the rib which is very fine gold wire. Attach that on the side. And then your body is pheasant tail fibers. Uh, for a size 12, which is what this is, I use three. This seems to be plenty enough. Take that back to where your tinsel's tied off. And make a nice thread base so this wraps evenly. Just gonna throw a half hitch in there. A little sloppy. your pheasant tail this is just a natural pheasant tail doesn't need to be dyed but if you feel like you need to dye it I'm sure it would work quite well on the top clean up our butts there clean up the area and then counter rib always counter rib your pheasant tail it is very brittle material. All right. 
Next we're gonna do the wing, which is three pieces of CDC. Matched and paired. All right. I have this oriented in a way. I don't know if you can see. Make sure the tips are lined up. And the natural curvature of the feather slopes backward. Kind of over the hook then. Just makes it look a bit more natural. Uh, measure that out. We, we want it to go about right, right behind the hook bend there, about right here. So pinch that on top, good and tight. Three wraps. Make sure that's positioned where you want. That's a little long, so we'll just. Pull these forward a bit. That's perfect there. There you go. All right, make sure that they are tied down tightly and then come in with your scissors and at an angle, trim off the stems. Now this is, CDC is quite slippery, so Make sure you take a little extra thread wraps just to make sure they're pinned down. <clears throat> what you end up is something like that. Okay. Hackle. We're using a, a furnace hen. Furnace is quite nice because it has a dark center and a brown tip, so it gives the uh, appearance of a false thorax. So. This looks really buggy. Just want to clean this up a little bit before I tie it in. Okay. I'm going to tie that in here. Make sure it's good and tight. And a wood finisher too, just to make sure everything is secure. And hackle pliers. Wet your fingers to manipulate the hand fibers. Go backwards and start taking wraps. You might be wondering why we use hen as opposed to uh, rooster hackle and that's because the hen makes it so it sits in the water column just a little lower than the rooster would and uh, gives a really nice silhouette in the water so we took about four turns forward and now we're going to be tying back over the stem just to give it some durability and you can do that Clean up a little bit. That looks pretty good. Whip finish. Three, four turns is fine. That's pretty much it. Uh, add some UV resin here to the to the thread head just to seal some things up. Sure, it's good and soaked in. Careful not to get any on the hackle and hit it with your light. And that's it. That's Lubos's Red Butt Caddis. New for us this year on Foy Mill.